Today on Israel Hayom Insider. The International Legal Forum is an organization founded to defend and advance human rights in the international arena. It focuses on fighting boycotts, preventing terrorism, its financing and proliferation, and promoting the interests of groups who lack re representation. With me in the studio, attorney Ifa Segel, the director of the International Legal Forum. Hi, Ifa. Hi, Steve. Uh, okay, Ifa, we heard a little, you know, in, in general, mm -hmm. what the International Legal Forum does, but specifically on a kind of day-to-day -day basis, what does this mean? Representing groups that don't have re representation, human rights, what do you do on, an, on a day-to-day -day basis? Okay, so we are a legal hub uh, for lawyers, for activists all over the world, and uh, we're active in parliament, we're active in courts around the world, and with international organizations. Mm -hmm. um, and the issues that we focus on are the issues that you mentioned. It's, uh, it's boycotts, the BDS movement, mm -hmm. or terrorism, anti-terrorism uh, legislation, and uh, other things, and human rights violation, uh, focusing on the Middle East and Israel, of course. Okay, you are an Israel, Israeli-based NGO, right? Yeah. and you've got connections with lawyers all around the world. All around the world. Okay. Yes. Uh, the ILF was recently involved in a case where you uncovered the fraudulent, uh, the fraudulence of a Jerusalem-based NGO, right? Mm -hmm. What was it called? The um, Committee for Agricultural Culture Works. works right. Okay. Yeah. So tell me about that case. What was that? What was this committee supposed to be, and what was it really? Okay, so this is an uh, Israeli-based uh, NGO registered in Israel mm -hmm. as an NGO since 1996. And what we found is that uh, this organization does absolutely nothing but to actually use this certificate, this registration in Israel, mm -hmm. to show uh, to the world, to uh, foreign donors like uh, countries or foreign aid organizations, like World Vision, for example, uh, that they're kosher, that the Israeli uh, uh, authorities, let's say, uh, vetted them. Of course, yeah. if they're registered in Israel, it's all, it's all good. Right. Um, and now they can uh, give them money and they would uh, declare in front of foreign donors that there are a branch of uh, another organization located in uh, Gaza, mm -hmm. uh, the UAWC. And uh, the, it's their role, and the Israeli authorities are aware of the fact that it's their role to uh, fundraise for uh, their branch in Gaza. Okay, what was the problem? The problem is that uh, th this organization, the UAWC, first of all, has terror connections to the PFLP, to the Popular Front for the Liberation of uh, Palestine, which mm -hmm. is a known terrorist organization. This is one thing. Um, so all the money, nine and a half million dollars a year that would come to this organization basically would uh, was used for uh, also for terror uh, uh, activities or okay. unlawful activities and mm. second of all this was fraud obviously yeah. the Israeli authorities did not know they did not declare this was not their uh, declared goals and it's completely illegal by the way to be uh, um, that uh, type of operation to be a branch of a Gaza based organization sure. or something like that so, okay. so the what, whole thing is a fraud so what is the status now after you <laughs> uncovered this yeah. and I guess you you uh, uh, publicized it in the press mm -hmm. Now, now what happens? Um, what, is, what we did how is does Israel uh, respond? how does the Israeli government respond? Okay, so first of all, we were in touch with uh, foreign donors in, in the past with the help of uh, another organization, Shuat mm -hmm. um, uh, and we tried to shut down the funding. And basically, the answer that we got from World Vision, from uh, other governments, is that you know, as long as it's registered in Israel, it's, it all seems kosher. Yeah. Uh, so we we understood that the next uh, uh, thing to do is to go to the Israeli authorities, expose this, and get them uh, uh, to be taken down, to be shut down as an organization. And and this is a very, 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 very rare process in Israel to actually to close uh, an amutah. Exactly, a, to force an the NGO. Exactly, but you know it's in process. Finally, they've accepted for a year now, over a year. Uh, we've been working on this, so uh, it started uh, the, proceed the proceedings of shutting down the amuta. And of course, we also turned to the attorney general with all our findings, mm -hmm. demanding that a criminal investigation will be launched. Uh, attorney general has passed the information uh, downwards to prosecutors, and they're looking into criminal charges. And we've done a few other nice things, like go to the tax authorities, trying to get them to now yeah. retrospectively tax all of these uh, um, you know, donations that right, were fraudulently right. uh, forwarded. Uh, it's, it's moving forward, and I'm very happy that you know, now $9.5 million to terrorists' okay. organization will Is, be shut down. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, tell me now about the, about the latest uh, that's going on in UNESCO. We've all read about these terrible UNESCO resolutions mm -hmm. that basically deny any connection between the Jewish people and the holy sites in Jerusalem, mm -hmm. right? They only v have used the Arabic, uh, the Muslim words for the Temple Mount and for the Western Wall. Right. And uh, it's, basic, it's basically saying that we have no, 
no claim, no connection, <coughs> not even to the Western Wall, let alone the Temple Mount. Right. Right. And uh, this this resolution, you know, this is a truth that very few people know, unfortunately. The United Nations is a political organization. Uh, all of his uh, uh, different bodies, like UNESCO, like the uh, Human Rights uh, uh, Committee, and others, unfortunately, they're not really uh, this uh, objective entity that just wants to promote peace or culture or uh, all these things that they're human rights. Right. They're it depends on to. The, the member states, right? It depends on the member states, and the member states vote according to their political agenda. Unfortunately, the Muslim countries or uh, has a majority in most of these uh, uh, fine establishments, mm. and uh, which allows them to basically pass any resolution, even if you know they can say that the sky is purple and it's still okay because they have a majority and they can pass that resolution. Okay, so what was uh, the what was your organization's response to the recent UNESCO votes? So we wanted to use this, you know, the the resolution itself has a lot of very uh, outrageous uh, um, dec declaration in it, not just this. But this, I think, has the, the biggest absurd that just screams out. This is something that you can explain to any person on the street, even someone who's d who doesn't care about politics usually, doesn't follow these issues usually. And you can show this really, I think, discredits uh, the United Nations, unfortunately, mm -hmm. and really helps to, to, to make the world understand that they should pay attention uh, to the true motive behind this resolution and accordingly that will give them credibility. So we turned to the public and we created a mass uh, petition. Mm -hmm. uh, together we turned to Stand With Us, it's an American organization, yep. asked them for their help and they, we worked together. And uh, then you brought the resolution, the, um, the petition, right. to the Director General of UNESCO. Yeah, right? a day before the vote we got to UNESCO in Paris and we got a meeting with uh, Irina uh, Bukova, which is the Director General. Mm -hmm. um, she was honestly hesitant to meet with us and uh, uh, apparently she got um, a, a threats for her life mm, because death of threats, really. death threats because uh, you know she said a few things uh, also in that spirit in the media before against the resolution. Uh, but she agreed to meet with us uh, finally and uh, luckily this was also uh, very well uh, publicized in the world which gave us the chance to really echo the message of all these hundred thousand people that signed the petition. Very good. Wow. Yifat Segel, thank you very much. Uh, good luck with your work. We want to hear from you again, hear, hear what the progress is on, the, on uh, all these fronts. And uh, thank you to the viewers. We'll see you next time.